Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make Cajun shrimp boil. I'm so excited to show you this because my husband and I, we went to Angry Crab. Everybody was telling us, you need to go, they have the best, you need to try this, make sure to get that. Well, we did all of that and it was a hefty bill we were not happy about and the meal was just eh, wasn't okay. We never went back, we're not going to go back. So we decided to make our own version. So you're going to start off with some shrimp. Make sure it is deveined. We just grabbed whatever we could from the grocery store with the shell on and it is, like I said, deveined. We did a little rinse. We have some corn, sausage, potatoes, onion, lemon. We are going to use um, the crawfish, shrimp, and carb crab boil in a bag. Also, if you wanted to add any other type of seafood, you can and I'll tell you when to add all of that. Instead of water, we are going to use beer. Um, we're going to use Modelo. It, beer gives your seafood an amazing flavor, a different flavor than if you were to use water. But if you don't have beer, you can definitely use water. We're going to use um, some Cajun seasoning, Old Bay seasoning, salt, and for our infused butter, we're going to use lemon pepper, cayenne pepper. If you do not want any spice, I would not suggest using it. I'm only going to use one tablespoon. We have some Old Bay seasoning, Cajun seasoning, paprika, garlic, butter, and some sugar. Now let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put our stove onto high heat. We're going to add two and a half quarts of beer. So we're using um, Modelo and it is uh, 48, uh, 24 ounces. So we are going to be using four cans. I already have two in here. Again, if you don't have beer, you can always use water. Okay. So I already have two cans in here. Now I'm just adding the other two. Okay. Then we are going to add in... We're, oh, we're going to let this come up to a boil, and once it comes up to a boil, we will add the rest of our ingredients. See you back in a few minutes. Now that it's come up to a boil, we're going to put in our bag. We're going to add in our lemons. We're going to add in our half an onion. Woo! Just like that. We're going to add in um, our, oh my goodness gracious. So we have our crab boil in a bag along with our lemon cut into quarters. We have our onion two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning and two tablespoons of salt. Okay. And we are going to give it a nice little mix. Okay, make sure that your thing is still on high heat. Then we're going to add in our corn. And we're going to let the corn boil for 10 minutes on its own. All right, so we'll see you back after 10 minutes. Now that our corn has cooked for about 10 minutes by itself, we're going to add in our potatoes. Okay, and we're going to let these cook for about 15 minutes. Okay, while that is cooking, we're gonna start on our butter. See you back in a second. Now that we have our um, potatoes and corn cooking right now, we're gonna get a large pan. We're gonna set it on low heat. So for me, it's probably anywhere the number one in the, or the number two. We're going to add in our five sticks of butter and our minced garlic. Okay. All right, we're going to mix 
sure that it melts down. You don't want your butter to burn, so which is why we have it on low heat. Okay. And as that's coming to melting point, we have about eight minutes left on our potatoes and corn. We're gonna add in our garlic. We're going to let this come to a, like I said, a melting point. And we're going to cook. Now that our butter and our garlic have cooked for a few minutes, we're going to add in our quarter cup of paprika. We're going to add two tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning, two tablespoons Cajun seasoning, three tablespoons lemon pepper, and one tablespoon cayenne pepper. Now again, for the cayenne pepper, if you want no spice, don't add any. Okay, we're gonna mix it up. Make sure it gets in there nice and well incorporated. guys it smells so good although my daughter is having a heart attack and saying that the beer is making her sick it's kind of funny actually all right we're gonna add in our one uh, tablespoon of sugar We're gonna add one cup of our broth. And I'm just grabbing it from the Okay, we're gonna add our one cup. And I have to sneeze. Hold. Bless you. Okay, we have our one cup. And we're gonna squeeze the juice of one lemon. I like to cut my lemons into quarters. I feel like I have more control. And it fits better. Okay, so we'll see you back in just a minute. Now that it's come to a simmer, we're going to add our sausage. And you can make a mess like me. Okay. We're gonna let that simmer for about five minutes. going to add in our shrimp. Now shrimp cooks quickly, so we're going to add it in and we're going to give it about between three and five minutes to cook. And you'll know when it's cooked because it changes color. Okay. And at this time, if you had other uh, seafood you wanted to add, like crab legs or um, oysters, mussels, whatever, this would be the time that you add it, okay? Just trying to get on the mine. And our shell is on, but again, you can make this however you want to. You could remove the shell if you want. Thank okay, you. Okay, so just gonna make sure it's thoroughly coated. It's cooking up. I'm going to set a timer for four minutes and we'll see you back in a second. Now that our shrimp and sausages, everything is cooked, it took my shrimp five minutes. 
uh, it was because it was a little bit larger. I already have in another bowl our potatoes and corn. Now we're going to scoop all of our goodies right in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells amazing. The sausage, the shrimp, the seasonings. Beautiful. We just have a little left. We're going to pour the rest right over. Oh, and you can see the perfection. All right, guys. Now, my favorite part. Obviously, we know what it is. The taste test. Let's see here. I'm going to start with a little sausage. And you can eat it on a plate. You could eat it on the way they eat it at Angry Crab. On just the table. Ha! Ah, delicious. It has the right amount of salt. Mine is not spicy at all. I only put one tablespoon of cayenne pepper but this is perfect perfect oh so good all the flavors everything I don't think I like the peeling of the shrimp part too much but what can you do now if you don't want to do all of this process then buy it already Mm-hmm. Delicious. Thank you so much for watching me in my kitchen. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share. And I love you. And enjoy. Bye, friends.